got it, crib, got it, job, on it, did I ever ask you to take me to go shopping in Paris or go sailing overseas and just drape? Hey y'all, oop. Hey y'all, um, <clears throat> welcome back to my channel. If you're not new here, and if you are new here, hello babies. Welcome, welcome. Um, my name's Arizona. I'm 23 years old. And yeah, welcome to my family. Welcome to my channel. Welcome, welcome. Hey, so it is Saturday, June 8th. And it is 5.58 p.m. currently. Uh, yeah. I just kind of wanted to give y'all a little video. So I actually have something to post for Monday. And just give y'all a video. Because I didn't vlog this weekend like I was supposed to. So. Let me try to sit y'all up. I'm trying to scoop my, my microwave up so I can sit y'all up. And plus, I've been wanting to give this video anyway. I was just trying to wait till everybody was out of my house. So, uh, yesterday marked officially two weeks since I've been in my own place. And I just want to talk about it. I want to talk about how I feel, how it's been going, how I've been acting. All that jazz. AJ's supposed to come over, so I didn't know if that was him walking through the door. But, before we start there. I don't know if y'all remember that big old jug of water bottle that I used to take to the gym, but this is how it looks. First of all, it looked worse than this. Um, Mr. Man, I have scolding hot water. He put it in that and it shriveled up. Then I put this in the dishwasher and it did this. So because I told him he messed up my water bottle for him to give me a new one. So if he sees this video, eh. I put the new one in the dishwasher and it did this. So I'm gonna give that man back his $5 because I scolded him for ruining my first bottle for me then to destroy my second. And at this point, I'm gonna keep these and these gonna be flower glasses if I need it because what else can I do with these? The lids don't fit on it no more because I guess from the heat from the dishwasher, anyway, I'm also seasoning my skillet. It's currently in the oven. It has a couple seconds left, so actually we're going to take it out the... We're actually going to let it sit in the oven. And it's going to cool off in the oven. Then when it's completely cool off, yeah, I'll take it out. But anyway, so how I've been feeling about it, how I feel about it lately, all of that jazz. I really I feel like I need a little light. Here we go. Um, excuse my neighbor upstairs. I call her Thumper. Because that's all she does. She thumps. That's it. That's all. I know you can hear her walking. Anyway. Um, honestly and truthfully, I feel good. Like, I feel... I don't know if this is, like... I feel normal. You know what I mean? Like... Me moving out of my mom's house wasn't an emotional thing for me. It was because I've been through quite a lot over that house. And it was bittersweet, but it was also a relief to get my own place in so many ways. So I really have, I really haven't had a reaction living by myself other than I could come home after work and get comfortable and all that. So... It really hasn't been a big ordeal with me. Um, and it really, I guess in a way, it hasn't hit me that I have my own place. Like, yeah, y'all seen when I cried. I did cry when I got approved because I, I have been trying to get an apartment and trying to get myself on this mode of getting an apartment for like five, six years. And when you go through so much and you dealt with what I dealt with in my household, which there's been much worse cases, but I'm not going to act like my case wasn't anything because it was something that I was already emotionally detached from where I was staying at. Like the place wasn't even a home anymore. It was just a place I have to 
lay down and sleep and be at because I don't have nowhere else to go. And there's only so many times you can escape to your friend's house and only so long you got to stay there. When I still have a full time job, when I was still in college, like I still had things to do. So for I just I don't know, it's a bit of a it's not a bit. It is a relief to be on my own. And that's the most I can really say about it because I haven't cried I haven't did the breakdown of oh my gosh I'm by myself I don't know when that's gonna hit me if it ever hits me because my best friend's waiting on it. a couple people was like whoa when did when did, did you do your breakdown about you living by yourself and da, da, da. I did not like I really didn't I've been here for two weeks now two weeks in a day and it's just normal to me is this place isn't strange to me because AJ used to this is the structure of his first apartment he literally was one apartment complex behind me actually um so the structure isn't new to me me being in this neighborhood isn't new to me so I just I don't know like I'm happy to be out but I haven't had my breakdown crying realization that I'm by myself. Just like I haven't had my breakdown crying down realization that I just graduated um, almost a week ago. Yeah, so by the time this video goes up, it'll be a week. But consider it's only Saturday and I graduated Sunday of last week. It's almost a week. Tomorrow I'll make a week. Um, so I don't know. I don't know if my emotions are just taking a minute to process or what. But I haven't done my breakdown it's been nice I have had a lot of people not a lot of people I've had two or three people over lately um, so I really haven't been able to just be in my apartment which I mean I had no issues with my best friend coming over with my uh, mr. man coming over with Justin coming over but I do think I'm going to now like just take the rest of this month to just enjoy being in my apartment by myself because my original plan was to not have anybody come over until like a month or two after um but yeah things changed certain situations happen yada yada but that's really how i feel about it like i really don't have a reaction to it it's just nice to be in my own place it's nice to not have to worry about other people it's nice to just be worried about myself do things for myself and it actually feels it's starting to feel like a home i literally just ordered my couch this morning and it'll be here between the 13th and the 18th i think i believe and like i'm just it's it's it's, it's, a little, it's exciting for me to start putting my home together yeah i got my couch it's a sectional it's kind of a sectional it's around a sectional it'll be here between the 13th and the 18th which is like next week yeah, I got a um, a sleeper sofa. And it's a two-in-one pull-out bed, all of that. So this is how it looks. So that'll be here. I'm so excited for that, quite frankly. I've always wanted a couch like that. Why, I don't know, but I, I've always wanted a couch like that. So now I'm getting one. And I think it's also nice that I don't have to like worry about somebody telling me what to do. Like, whatever happens in here is on me. It's my accountability. So, that's kind of how I feel about it. Just worrying about myself, not having to worry about nobody else. Not having to spend tons and tons of money on somebody else's stuff. And only worrying about myself just is a relief. It is a big relief. I love the fact it's just me in here. Granted, yes, I've had people over for the past, like, two, three weeks since I moved in, basically. Um, Mr. Man has been here majority of the time since I moved in, which I have no issues with at all. I love the company. I love that I can have him over without it being a problem <sighs> um, or hearing some type of commotion about it. Like, if I want him to be over, he could be over. It's my house. Um, so, yeah, that's just kind of generalization of how I feel regarding this whole situation like I'm I'm good like I don't know when I'm gonna have my breakdown about it again that's if, if I even have a breakdown about it because so far I really don't have one so I just want to get on here and tell you guys update you guys let you guys know about how I feel 
I highly doubt I'm going to cut any of this. I might just keep all of this in here like this and that's really about it. Because I don't think I need to do really too much editing. So this might be just raw and uncut. So enjoy. Um, so yeah, um, that's how I feel. That's how I've been feeling. Now I can do an update within like a month or so to see how I feel, how it's going, how the apartment looks. But this is a series. So y'all are going to see everything related to my apartment on this one playlist. So yeah, um... But yeah, that's all I had to say. I just wanted to update you guys, let you guys know. I've had a few people um, ask me how it's been. So thank you for, you know, still being here rocking with your girl. But I am feeling wonderful. You know, it's, like I said, it's really nice to be in your own place to not have to worry about nobody else to have somebody breathing down your neck and everything is your responsibility. And I'm a very independent person. So that was a relief for me um for me to just worry about myself so yeah um i am about to find me something to eat for dinner because i did go grocery shopping yesterday i got some stuff for the house i got this little mat for my kitchen and all that good stuff but yeah i just wanted to let you guys know how i felt uh it feels good i definitely We'll continue to show y'all progress in my apartment, how it's going. Because, I mean, I don't need too much stuff, too much more stuff. I have a couch on the way. I'm probably getting a TV for my living room. And then all I'm going to need is a dining room table and everything else is pretty much good. Um, I also need a vacuum. Do need a vacuum. I got me a mop and stuff yesterday. I got the mop yesterday. The house smells good. The house smells like fabuloso, watermelon, and bleach. Like, it smells wonderful. I clicked this morning. Anyway, that's another here. Or there i hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you guys for staying here with me hello to the new people again hello to the babies that have been here um i will see you guys in the next video don't know what it's gonna be don't know where it's gonna be at don't know what's gonna consist of but there will be another video i'm gonna try to conjure up something in my brain to maybe do another video tonight but i really don't know um so yeah what i'm about to do is find something to eat finish these tiktok transitions because i got two and be done with the day so Love you guys. See you in the next one. Bye.